I'm enjoying this little walk down the side street. We really haven't seen much of Rabat yet. Oops. Um, we really haven't seen much of Rabat since we've been here, so it's nice to be able to wander just a little bit off course and see what else is here. Like Mr. Noodles. I love noodles. As soon as Mr. Noodles is back open, we're definitely ordering some takeout. Face burger, that looks interesting. Restaurant and bar. Churros. So we have talked about food in the past. We've actually done a couple of videos showing off some uh, dishes that we've made. Actually, I'm gonna give most of the credit to Becky <laughs> for those. But uh, in any case, wanted to do something just a little bit different. We've had uh, some friends back at home and other people actually request uh, what things look like from the grocery store here and, and some of the prices, like uh, just to talk about the price differences and things. So in this video, uh, we want to talk about that stuff. Uh, we will show off some of the really cool foods that we've also eaten. So stick around for those things. We're uh, excited to share it with you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, which you can do by hitting the button below. And we would also love for you to like the video and maybe even leave us a comment. We love hearing from you guys. I got all masked up and ready to go to the Marjan and it's raining, but it looks like it might clear up. So I'm trying to figure out if it's going to get better or if it's going to get worse. It's maybe a kilometer over to the Marjan, so it's not too far, but maybe not a great walk if it's raining a lot. I think it's going to get better. I'm gonna go ahead and try it, and if we get caught in a rainstorm on the way back, then won't that be a fun adventure? And can I just say, we have a doorman. His name is Mr. Ahmed. He is the best. He was just teaching me, trying to teach me some words, but I think he actually was being really nice and trying to teach me things. I'm not sure what it was yet, but I'm gonna learn. what it's like walking to the Marjan today. Um, the mall's been dark since the very first day that we came here, which was a couple of days after the official lockdown hit. It's been normal for everything to be closed, but some of these barriers they've just implemented within the past week or so where you need to be on one side of the hallway to come in. I didn't get this on film, but they did check my paper before letting me in, so that's something that you need to have. It looks like we're coming up here to a stop point where they need to possibly check my paper again before I can come in, but you can see there's a barrier. A couple official people there, so, oops. I'll let you guys know what happens. So I just got temp checked and moved aside. Uh, great news, we've been on the hunt for these cookies and I finally and then these mega truck ones right here. This is our favorite granola. Oh, this is my favorite kind of granola. I don't think they have Ryan's favorite kind of granola. So we'll just get two of mine. And these are our cracker selection for snacks. We will try this kind right here. We found it. Oat milk, rice milk, soy milk, yeah. First, I'm going to show you one of my favorite things at home that I haven't been able to easily find here unless I've been looking in the wrong places. I found popcorn. This was 
five durhams, which is about 50 cents in US dollars. I got two. And then in looking for snacks, I found these crackers. Um, so they are casino brand. A lot of the food that we found here, the packaged food, has been this casino brand. I think these are just like crackers, like little toasts. Yeah, something different about the grocery store today. So normally there are, there's like an olive bar so you can get whatever, however many olives you want. Or in more recent weeks, they have all been pre-packaged in plastic containers, but still like fresh olives. Now, all of those olives have been replaced with these bags of olives. This giant bag of olives was a little over 17 dirhams, so about $1.76. And then they also have some other pickled items. Um, which these are carrots and cauliflower, peppers, um, pickles. So I'm excited to try this. Oh. <laughs> and then these are the olives. Comparatively for what you'd pay at home or in the United States, uh, these are quite a bit less expensive. These are actually so about yeah. eight Moroccan dirhams or 80 cents. Yeah. For this whole big bag. And then in the produce section, I found these guys. I got a whole bunch of them because I thought these were sweet potatoes. This whole bag is also about eight durhams, so 80 cents-ish. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a really big bag of radishes, but I washed it to make sure, or so that I could try it. It's a little sweet. It's like a sweet potato-ish. Not bad. It's like a sweet potato light. Also, in the produce section, we found these guys. I'm just gonna take these out of the bag because that'll be a little bit easier. And they're, they look like little tiny apricots. They're called Nefla and Brock. I did a little bit of research on them. They're supposed to be really good for you. And they have a lot of iron, calcium, copper, and magnesium. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So it looks just like an apricot. Tastes like a nectarine. I hope I didn't kill the magic for you, but it tastes <laughs> pretty much just like a nectarine. Really? <laughs> yeah. Or a plum. A plum. Oh. It's really juicy. It tastes like a plum. So you got this like kit of little baby cantaloupes and they're so little. <clears throat> we'll cut one of these open later. And if there's something really interesting on the inside, then we'll let you know, but they are cantaloupes. These were our three baby cantaloupes, 12 dirhams and 90 cents. So it was like $1.30 for our baby cantaloupes. Um, last but not least is one of our favorite things that we have found. This is also Casino brand and this is granola. So obviously we get granola at home, no big deal. This was 35 dirhams, so around 350, probably about what we pay at home. Um, it's a lot of granola and we love this kind. It has lots of different nuts in there. So there's a couple different kinds of this granola. And this is one of our favorites. Oh, I forgot something important. Hmm. These are the best cookies. So they're sandwich cookies. There's a lot of different kinds of sandwich cookies here. I think these were um, like 17 or 18 dirhams. So $1.70, $1.80 for this giant container of cookies. Like, look, this is bigger than Ryan's head. Um, <laughs> it's important that you get this brand. There are other brands that are in yellow packaging and they're not as good as this kind. Sorry, I don't mean to steal your cookie, but. It's like a, a chocolate filling mm -hmm. beer. Um, it, it, I think it tastes like Nutella or something similar to mm -hmm. that. So uh, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Here, go ahead. And to our uh, Moroccan friends and viewers from Morocco who see this stuff on a daily basis and mm -hmm. this is not at all shocking or interesting to you, appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. Mm -hmm. But uh, we just wanted to show some comparisons and uh, talk about some of the things that are unique to us anyway, so. Yeah, and tell us if we did something wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat uh, this whole thing of cookies. <laughs> Maybe I'll save Becky one or two. Bye. Hi everybody. Uh... <laughs> Mr. Noodles. I love noodles. Churros. Ooh, love churros. Like I'm pretty sure if I go this way, I'm gonna hit and now I'm not so sure. So 
That was not the shortcut that I was expecting it to be. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it. I was, but then I forgot. 